Good evening, I'm Richard Lodge. I'm the recently retired editor of the Daily News of New Report, and I've been an editor in New England for about 40 years, editor and reporter at different papers. Um, I just want to congratulate Lauren Gilioni on being admitted to the Hall of Fame uh, among NENPA members. And uh, Lauren was a publisher of the Southbridge News when I was there in the mid 80s. And he started something at the time that in 2022, I look back and think that was amazing. Lauren was on an exchange trip to the Soviet Union. So Soviet journalists came here, American journalists went there and he came back and he's in Southbridge, this little town in Central Mass. And he started writing an almost daily column that ran on the opinion page called Living in the Nuclear Age. And this is 1985, I believe. And the editor and I were a little bit amazed, like, how long is he going to do this? He got up to like number 18, number 19, the 20th in a series. And he just kept writing and writing and writing, living in the nuclear age. And he, he wrote about propaganda in the Soviet Union. He wrote about the influence of media. He wrote about how government worked over there and compared it to American democracy. And by the time I left the paper, I, I swear he was up to living in the nuclear age, number 90 in a series. And that's a lot of writing, uh, pretty deep thinking and pretty amazing observations by Lauren. I look at it today in 2022 is what's going on in Ukraine and the Russian invasion and the propaganda that's happening in this country and in the Soviet Union and elsewhere. And I think he was really prescient. Um, I think he, he really saw something important that the media needed to report on. And he started doing it in a really in-depth way at a very small daily newspaper. And I'm very impressed to, to think back that I saw that and experienced that, and that he was on top of it. It was a good job, Lauren. You did a good job all along the way from what I can tell. Congratulations.